So in this video, we're going to learn why conductors or why the surface of a conductor is always an equipotential surface or the, the voltage, the electric potential is equal to a constant. So recall that if I have a conductor and I were to place some charge inside it, that charge is able to move freely because it's a conductor and it'll all run away from each other. And so eventually that charge will all end up on the surface. And when I say eventually, I mean very quickly. It happens typically in picoseconds. And so the charge will be gone from the interior and it'll all end up on the surface. And if I have a bunch of charge, it'll all end up similarly, no matter how much I add, it will all end up on the surface of the conductor. And eventually these charges will be in equilibrium. So they won't want to move anymore. They've, they're as far away from all of their neighbors as they can be. They're comfortable, they like life, they don't wanna be moving anymore. And so what does this mean? Well, if I zoom in on, let's say a very narrow, a very small slice of the conductor, say it looks something like this, I've got a bunch of positive charge right on the surface of the conductor. Which way is the electric field pointing here? Or what's, what's the direction that it can point? Well, if the electric field were pointing to the right, then the charges would start to move to the right. And if it were pointing to the left, then the charges would move to the left. But we said that this is in equilibrium, so the charges aren't moving anymore, which means the only direction that the electric field can point is outwards from the surface. It's perpendicular to the surface because no matter what, my, what the force is on each of these individual charges, because they're bound by the conductor, they can't escape. So the electric field has to be pointing outwards if this system is in equilibrium. And we can use this knowledge to figure out what the potential is on the surface. So remember that the voltage or the electric potential is equal to the negative of the electric field dotted with dr. And what this means is that the electric potential is the accumulation the accumulation of the electric field from one point to another point, and that electric fields point from positive voltages or from higher voltages to lower voltages. So if I take the integral from, let's call this point A to point B, if I take any path from point A to point B, I'll be able to calculate the voltage difference between the two by just integrating the electric field that points along this path. And so all these little arrows here are my DRs. DR there, DR there, DR there. We care about the electric field that's pointing in the direction of the path. Also something interesting about calculating the electric potential, it doesn't matter what path I take. So if I take this path, call this path one, versus this path, path two, doesn't matter. I'm going to end up with the same electric potential, the same voltage. And so going back to our conductor over here, what happens when I take the integral from this point, I'll call it A, to this point B, both on the surface? Well, all my DRs point in this direction, so they point in this direction, but my electric field is always pointing perpendicular to that. So E dotted with dr is always equal to zero. So that means that the integral of the electric field or the, the voltage difference between A and B is equal to zero, or the voltage at point A is equal to the voltage at point B. The electric potentials are equal. And because the electric field is always pointing outwards from a conductor, or from a charged conductor in equilibrium, then it doesn't matter where I put my points A and B. So I could put point A here and point B here, and I could do the integral, but the dr is always perpendicular to the electric field because dr is always along the surface, the electric field is always out from the surface. And so the potential along the entire surface of the conductor is constant. And so this is why conductors are called equipotential surfaces, because they always have the same electric potential or the same voltage 
on their surface. Finally, I'd like to thank all my patrons on Patreon. Your support is greatly appreciated, and it is you who makes these videos possible. If you aren't currently a patron, to get early video access, behind-the-scenes footage, exclusive content, and join a like-minded community, click the link on screen or in the description below. Thanks for watching.